So I thought of making another video about my meal. I'm not here, so I'll give you some background about what happened today. First of all, if you love hiking, if you love these kinds of things, nature, these kinds of trips, let me know below. Give a thumbs up, leave a comment. But today, I started my hike around 9. It was a really intense hike, really intense hike. Um, but I made it all the way to the top on a fasted state. I love doing that. I love fasted workouts. I love doing hikes with an empty stomach. So I went all the way up and it was about three hours, I think. Uh, pretty intense, but very cool hike. So then at the top, the only thing I had was an avocado and canned wild uh, caught salmon. That's all I had, and I actually wanted to kind of do more, quote-unquote, ketogenic. Because last night I actually had a meal very early compared to what I usually do, and it was slightly ketogenic too. Well, pretty ketogenic. Now I just, some, I'm just trying that out. I always try different things. I go back and forth, I explore, I experiment, and I see how my body does. So, then... That's all I had at noon. Now, I, sh I, sh I actually don't know what time it I should have looked at the time. I think it's like between 5 and 6. It might be 5.30 or so. I might have my meal. So I steamed organic carrot, organic broccoli, and organic zucchini. I love always, if I can get organic, I always go for that. Then... I cooked some beef. If I saw my last video, if you use parchment paper, there's no cleanup afterwards. No cleanup. So I let that finish cooking a little more. Then I'll just dump all the veggies on top of it so that it, the veggies get that fat and those juices and all that goodness in there. Um, then I'll use small avocado. A lime I'll throw it all over it so that it's easier to digest but also tastes better and then some olive oil and since I'm a big fan of eating nose to tail if you can eat organs and uh, I'm blanking now but like um, bone marrow kinds of things so use bones for broth and that kind of thing uh, always try to do that so this is what I'm using right now because um, I'm just using ground beef like I showed you and these are just some supplements that I'm trying right now I just wanted to see if any of you guys have tried it and what you think so I'm doing some HCL with pepsin um, and a little bit of a digestive enzyme support um, I really like this brand it's actually as far as I know it's AAP compliant um, and I really like their product, so I'm trying this for now. And since it is going to be a me big meal, because I did a ton of physical activity and haven't had much food, so I do want to make sure I get enough calories. I will eat slowly and stretch it out as much as I need to. I probably, I might not eat the whole pound of beef. I know that's a lot, but if you think about it, this is not very calorically dense. That has a good amount of calories, but then. The avocado but then nothing else has a lot of calories i don't think i'll add too much olive oil because of the fat in the meat so that's it um i will talk more about sleep like i said i'm tracking my sleep with the aura ring if you're not familiar with it pretty freaking amazing uh but the, at the same time too like even though it's a big meal if i eat too early then i notice that because of blood sugar um levels and regulating that throughout the night my body tends to maybe wake up throughout the night if my blood sugar gets too low or something so i might have some i'll make more videos about that but something closer to bedtime but uh, i've been playing around with um, mct oil um, i don't know if you've heard from dave asprey that he's had very a lot of success with clients and people uh, either using honey like really good quality honey raw unfiltered good quality honey um, or some kind of um, 
MCT. And uh, maybe I'll talk more about that in another video. If you want me to talk about that, let me know below, leave a comment. So if this helped in any way, shape, or form, please give it a like. A like. It really helps me and my channel. It helps me to reach more people with what I do. And I would love to be able to do more of this. So please give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone if you think it could help. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more ideas. I'm going to be sharing a lot more throughout my entire trip. So I'm living in that thing for six months, traveling around the country. So it's going to be a pretty freaking amazing experience. So have an amazing day. That's how it came out. But by the way, I just wanted to make it a little more clear. Of course, it's not perfectly ketogenic and that's not my goal. I do have some carrots. But if you count the overall amount of carbs and everything, it's very low for the entire day. And at the same time, I just want to make sure that I share this in my videos about my meals. In no way they're perfect, not even close to perfect, not even close to ideal. But please keep in mind, I'm living in a van, I'm traveling around the country. It's not easy to have everything that I need and make every meal perfect. I do my best. And I'm just sharing my journey, my experiences, my ideas, my thoughts. But please know that I'm not saying that this is what you should do. This is not what you should aim for. It's just some ideas so that it could spark ideas for you to make for your own journey. So I hope that makes sense. But I just wanted to make that clear in case that uh, anyone thought I was saying that this is what you should do please realize that this and i also do a lot of intermittent fasting and other kind of stuff and i'm not saying that everyone should do that either i know that this is a huge meal for most people it's probably a huge meal for me too i'm not gonna eat all of it but anyways i just thought of <laughs> saying that <laughs> hope that helps have an amazing day